Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to study a 4x4 four four barrel shifter. We have already studied the basics of barrel shifter in the previous clip. I'll just quickly recap and then we plunge into this. We know that in barrel shifter, we can either shift our input bits towards the left or towards the right by specifying the width of our shift. Also, at times when you're shifting, the empty spaces can be appended with the bits which have been shifted and we can go in the circular manner and becomes a rotor or a rotator. Right now, I'm not getting into that. Right now, what I'm going to do is whatever are going to be the empty spaces, I'm going to append it with the bit which is just previous to that. And I'm going to draw this four cross four barrel shifter. I'll first make it using the pass transistor logic, explaining you the logic, how it's being made. And then I'll show you the trick, how we can convert the same diagram using transmission gates, which is going to be very straightforward. Okay, let's get started now. Here it's a four cross four barrel shifter where my inputs are A0, A1, A2 and A3. My outputs are going to be B0, B1, B2 and B3. And the control signals are going to be shift zero, shift one, shift two and shift three. Remember that this control signals are going to be mutually exclusive signals, which means that at one point of time, only one of them will be high and here is where it shows what's going to happen. If shift 0 is high, there is no shift. So my A0 will become B0, my A1 will become B1, A2 will become B2 and A3 will become B3. So no shift in input. If shift 1 is high, this shifts left by 1, A0 is discarded, A2 comes towards the left, A3 comes towards the left and this is the last bit which is present. So I'm just appending that bit for B3 as well. Shift 2, so again A2 should come here, A3, so don't compare with here, compare with this standard value. So A2 should come here, two shifts, A3 will come here and the last two will be just appended with the last value. Same we can explain for shift 3 as well. Now we have understood what will happen in shift 0 operation, what will happen in shift 1 operation, what will happen in shift 2 and so on and so forth. Now let's quickly go ahead and understand how to make a pass transistor logic for this. It's a very straightforward thing. Here I have made a 4x4 four four grid where I'll explain you what is to be done. Why 4x4 four four grid is the first question. The number of rows is equal to the word length of the data. So my word length is 4, the total number of inputs. So that's the number of rows. And the number of columns is the maximum shift width. The maximum shift width is 4 again. So the number of columns are also going to be 4. And if you don't understand this way, it's a 4 cross 4 barrel shifter. So that also will give you the same thing. Now let's get started in understanding how to draw each row. Okay, pay attention and we will do this together. First, let's fill all the 16 boxes with NMOS transistors. Just let's fill this. Then we'll see what we'll have to do. And if you have to use the transmission gates, we very well know that we have to connect a PMOS in parallel to this NMOS with an input which is opposite to the current NMOS. What we are also going to do after making this pass transistors and MOS is we are going to go back to our two table which is present on the left side of your screen and we are going to see what we want at what particular shift. Okay, so the 16 transistors are ready. Let's start with the last row. It says that when shift 0 is high, my A0 is equal to B0. Right now, don't think about any logic. Just use a pass transistor logic. Shift 0, let's say, is high. Then my A0 being my input will be my B0. Okay. At the same time, what do you want? See, it's a left shifter, right? So go up. What do you want your B1 to be? You want your, when your shift 0 is high, will go diagonally up. When your shift 0 is high, you want your A1 to be equal to B1. You will see a trend which will get develop and then it's become it becomes very easy again go diagonally up technically we could have started this way we could have started this way so that we move towards the left but i think you have understood what we need to do when shift zero is high what is your b2 that's correct a2 and when shift zero is high what is your b3 a3 Technically, this is going to be my B0 output row. This is going to be for my B1. This is going to be for my B2. And this is going to be for my B3. So when my shift 0 is high, I got my BO to be equal to AO from this. B1 to be equal to A1. B2 to be equal to A2. And B3 equal to A3. Great. So shift 0 operation is done. 
let's go to shift one when shift one is high what do i want my b0 to be b0 so we'll go back again to this row you want your b0 to be equal to a1 so this is again your b0 you want it to be a1 when your shift zero sorry when your shift one is high so this is your shift one at the same time now again let's go same when shift one is one what do you want your b1 to be a2 b1 means this row b1 to be a2 so this becomes my b1 output and when shift one is high a2 is equal to b1 or b1 is equal to a2 again when my shift one is high you want your b2 to be equal to a3 so this is a b2 row b2 to be equal to a3 that is equal to when shift one is high and the last one when shift one is high you want your b3 to be equal to a3 the last value so this is your b3 this becomes your a3 and this becomes your shift one cool so i think by now if you follow the trend if you just need to remember the output rows and with that you have to just see the truth table and just make the connections let's quickly go ahead and make the third one for shift 2 b0 is equal to a2 b0 this is the row b0 equal to a2 for shift 2 b1 equal to a3 b1 this is the row b1 when shift 2 is high that becomes my control signal is equal to a3 similarly you can go up for b2 correct so when shift 2 is high which one would you go ahead with and make that's a very interesting thing so you're going up like this right isn't it so you'll take this one because you're shifting in that direction so shift 2 is high what do you want your b2 to be a3 so this is b2 this is a3 and again the same shift 2 is high you want your b3 to be equal to a3 and the final one now very straightforward no explanation is needed i think everyone has followed so when shift 3 is high i want my b3 to be equal to a3 shift 3 a3 equal to b3 shift 3 a3 equal to b3 shift 3 a3 equal to b3 so once this is done what you are going to do is internally you will have to short all shift zeros i'm not showing it otherwise it will complicate the diagram and you'll get confused all shift ones all shift twos and all shift threes so basically i'll just show you one of them what i am talking about so this shift zero should be shorted with this shift zero with this and this same for shift one same for shift two and same for shift three as well correct and you need to also internally short all b zeros because you will have at one point of time b1 b2 and b3 what does that technically mean is all these b zeros this is b0 i beg your pardon there needs to be shorted correct everywhere guys i have made an error here this is all b so all shorted correct so this is b1 this is b2 and this is b3 so i have shorted my b0 similarly you can short your b1s your b2s and b3s and after that you will short all your a1s a2s a3s which i'll show you in the next diagram the thing which i want to make a mention here is a lot of times it's asked that do this using transmission gates so what change is going to come into your circuit i just want to draw it for two three transistors and explain it to you what is going to be the variation the variation is going to be this take any grid and take suppose this grid you'll put a pmos and you'll put it input as shift to bar so when shift 2 is 1 shift to bar is going to be equal to 0 so that means it will turn on say anywhere say this so basically you will connect pmos here as well pmos pmos and give the input opposite to what it's given to nmos so here it's going to be shift 1 bar here it is going to be shift 3 bar here it's going to be shift 0 bar and like that you can complete the entire grid and this becomes a 4 cross 4 barrel shifter now let's see all this internal shorting and how does my diagram look after all that internal shorting and I'm just changing my transistors a bit so that it's easier for you to follow. Okay, so I have shorted everything here. Don't get confused at all. These are just my buffers. These are just my buffers, which produces the same as the output. So here you see, this is my A0 line. This is my A1 line. This is my A2 line. And this is my A3 line. Fair enough. And look here. So 
let's take one one case when shift zero is one so shift zero is one so it go goes to this input it goes to this input the same shift zero it goes to this input shift zero and it goes to this input shift zero fair so when shift zero is one this is nothing but your b0 correct this is your b0 this is your b1 this is the same circuit i've just made internal shortings this is your b2 and this is your b3 so when shift 0 is 0 or sh uh, sorry shift 0 is 1 or active all others are 0 so what do you want your b0 to be equal to let's quickly see that b0 shift 0 on this transistor is on this is what its other terminal is connected to which is nothing but a0 which we were looking for verified this is on this transistor is on b1 this is the other input connected to a1 verified this is high this transistor is on other input a2 a2 equal to b2 verified similarly this is on this a3 b3 verified so you saw that complete diagonal let's see another case as well let's see when shift one is high this is getting shift one this is getting shift one see how the diagram is going this is getting shift one and this also is having shift one so this green dot transistors are the ones which are on this is on this is b0 this is b1 this is b2 and this is b3 sorry this is b3 now this is on so it will get this input which is this input connected to c properly it's connected to a1 so b0 equal to a1 verified this is on this is connected to c properly a2 a2 equal to b1 verified this is on this is connected to a3 if you look at it properly so b2 equal to a3 verified similarly this is on this input is connected to a3 so b3 equal to a3 verified similarly we can see for shift 2 also the path is i'm just drawing the path now for shift 2 shift 2 this transistor this transistor this transistor and this transistor you can see the same phenomena happening this is b3 b2 b1 and b0 and check the inputs and let's see the last case real quick so this is for shift 3 fair shift 3 1 yes where are the other 2 3 shift 3 so this is b3 b2 b1 b0 if this is on see if you can identify it's shorted to a3 so b0 is equal to a3 verified this is on shorted to all three are sh this is shorted to a3 correct again see so again b1 is equal to a3 verify this is also shorted to a3 b2 equal to a3 verified this is also shorted to a3 b3 equal to a3 verified and this is nothing but my four cross four barrel shifter very straightforward if you find this to be a bit confusing use the easier one where i've explained you what needs to be done and you need to internally short everything and for transmission gates just connect a pmos in parallel to the nmos and give it the input which is opposite to what you've given for nmos with that i complete barrel shifter hope you have followed stay tuned thank you very much it was pleasure teaching you this